the White House is saying that the U.S. has information that Hamas Islamic Jihad uses hospitals in Gaza to conceal their operations and, and to hold hostages and, and, you know, citing intelligence sources, not really providing sources. What do you make of the, the timing of these comments in particular? Uh, well, suspicious, uh, to say the least. But there's only one thing that comes to mind, uh, Darin, and I think it comes to mind to almost every person watching us today uh, who have been watching events uh, the past 20 years. Weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction. They haven't found a single weapon of mass destruction in Iraq after they destroyed the entire country. And this was based on solid intelligence that was presented at the United Nations by Secretary of State Powell. Colin Powell staked his own credibility 20 years ago and told the world, trust us, there is, there is weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Iraq was destroyed and there were no weapons of mass destruction. Here we are again. The Americans are saying, trust us. I think the two words... Probably the most dangerous words for a Middle Easterner is the Americans' words, trust us. No one trusts them. Now, in as far as the intelligence is concerned, I think there's something very important that was ignored, I think, intentionally. About 10 days ago, Hamas um, proposed for the United Nations to send independent observers to the hospitals and to find out for themselves, to look under and over and inside and so on and so forth, and to report about those uh, headquarters and ammunition centers and all of that under hospitals, Shifa hospital and what have you. That call was ignored. But I think there's still room for that call. I think uh, those so-called, uh, the infamous uh, humanitarian pauses could allow for a delegation, uh, an international delegation, to go in and check for themselves. But no, I think the United States and Israel, the United States echoing Israel about, uh, about those uh, intelligence. And by the way, I was just looking, because now we're looking at that Israeli uh, uh, spokesperson under some building in Gaza. It was almost hilarious to the point of uh, uh, comical, if it wasn't tragic, that they were showing a list of uh, a calendar. And the spokesperson was, was showing us how those are the names of the terrorists, in his words. But in fact, if you looked carefully, it was all in Arabic. And it said, as the, the godfather would say, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday. That's what it was. It was the days of the week. Right. And they were saying these were the names of terrorists. It's, it's Marwan, just... the thing is, when the United States comes out with these comments at this particular time, when, uh, as we've been seeing and reporting on the horrific scenes that are coming out of hospitals. Is there a risk that this encourages Israel to ramp up its uh, operations in and around the hospitals? You know, to be honest, I'm not sure if there's any more ramping up to do, right? I mean, look what happened just the last few weeks. The United States has given its unconditional support and said that, you know, Hamas is ISIS. I think there's nothing more damning and encouraging for the kind of genocide that we see unraveling in Gaza than comparing Hamas to ISIL. So I think the United States set the tone from the very beginning when comparing Hamas to ISIL. And from then on, the demonization of Hamas did not stop. Now, I'm not sure what Hamas is doing in Gaza. I don't know. But I would like to see evidence. The problem with the Israel and the United States, they, keep, they continue to say, trust us. But so far, they have provided not a shred of evidence for what they're saying. 